go. Okay, so now I'm going to discuss a few of the particle interactions that I have, some of the particles I didn't show you last time. So this here is a plant particle. It's immobile, it acts like a wall, but it grows when it comes in contact with water. So if I drop some water on it, you can see there that the water turns into plant. Next I'm going to draw a spout particle, which basically just emits water. As you can see, the plant will grow into the water as it falls on top of it, forming some interesting growth patterns. And if I just extend this plant into this pool of water here, you'll see that it basically takes over pretty quickly. Same thing's happening up here. It's growing around the spout and basically preventing further water from um, being emitted. Now, over here I have pool of oil. You notice I turned off the faucets at the top, so I'll turn back uh, the oil faucet. Oil is flammable, so I can draw fire, and if the fire comes in contact with the oil, the oil will light on fire. I can also draw a torch, which is basically a permanent emitter of fire. So now every time that oil falls and fills up the bin over here, it will get lit on fire. Okay, next, I'm going to discuss this wax over here. Wax is also flammable, except it, uh, it lights at a much slower rate than oil. So if I touch fire to that, you can see it burns, but not as quickly as the oil does. Similarly, plants are flammable, so if I light the plant on fire, then the entire thing lights up. And then uh, once it's been removed from around the spout, the water starts falling again. Very interesting.